Welcome everyone to another episode of Game Informers Replay. I'm Andrew Reiner, joined today by Joe Juba. Hey! Kyle Hilliard. Hello! And then, from the Game Informer community, Zachary Pliggy. How's it going, Reiner? Hey. Good! It seems like I see you every year. <laughs> you see me at least once a year for, I think this is the sixth year now that I am on Since here? Since oh 2011. Yes, Welcome sir. Welcome to the show. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Wait, is that an air horn? <laughs> it it kind of sounded like Fran Drescher like, choking on an egg. Uh, I apologize for that. That was supposed to be an air horn. Uh, just for you, Zach. <laughs> Thank choking you, on an egg. Uh, I'm sure Wade will fix it in post. But we're playing. Uh, Zach, you picked this game out. It's Valkyrie Profile for PlayStation 1. It's an okay game. It's more than okay. It's a 7-5 in my book. <laughs> it's an oh. all right game. Okay, so Reiner, you wrote the review. That uh -huh. Like, I, I should say, you're the dissenting opinion on this right now, because Zach and I have both played this and Hold really on. like Let it. me bring it down to my level for a second. <laughs> okay. You guys, like, as soon as this music started playing, we're like, oh, this music. Did you hear that? It was just generic music. There was nothing mm. great about it. Uh, I can't say right? I agree with that. You're judging me already, Zach. I saw, <laughs> I saw your eyes through the gunners. Uh, but anyway, I, there's a lot here. I just didn't like how this game was sewn together. I like the deep RPG systems, the character stuff, uh, the questing, stuff like that. Very cool, but I just didn't like how it was put together, and that's just my opinion. So... Go ahead, Joe. What is it that you love about this? Actually, I want to start with Zach. Okay, I wanna, Zach. Because he's, he, he's the one who he selected it, it for, yeah. for the replay. What drew you to this, this one? This is one of the many RPGs that all my dad and I just kind of sat down and played. Mm. And the thing about this one is the how you had to recruit all, all the party members and the decision-making of, okay... Should I keep them in my party, or should I send them away to, uh, 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 to Odin? Yeah, so that's one of the like totally awesome mechanics about this game. Yeah. I think is that like you gather all these party members who, you get this like cool little bit of backstory because they're all dead. Mm -hmm. So it's like as you recruit them into your party, you basically see the moments of their death beforehand, and then they sort of join you as like warrior spirits, right? And then you build up their levels. And at the end of each chapter, you basically have to decide whether or whether or not you're going to like keep them, or whether you sort of like send them up to this like ev this like ongoing war. Yeah, I think the term right? for them is called oh, Einher. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Was this like a trend with like Chrono Cross and Suikoden and like this, where it was like just uh, lots of characters, just get as many characters in there as we well, can? It's not quite like that because those are like, hey, you get forty five different characters. One hundred eight stars of destiny. <laughs> this is this is not that. Extreme. Okay. All right. There's um, only 28, and you only <laughs> only okay, 28, <laughs> and you only could get the uh, all the full amount in a uh, hard mode. Oh, what? Okay. And also worth pointing out that you cycle through. It's not like you ever have 28 people to choose from yeah. at once. Okay. You're gotcha. sending them up to up to Asgard and stuff to like. So there's a tur there's turnover. Gotcha. This beginning's even slower than I remember. Oh man! But like, like I want it to move at the speed of those clouds. <laughs> oh man! Like for me, the visuals of this. Oh I th man! Yeah, I think part nice. of it is beautiful. Yeah, like it's beautiful. I I love the music of it, and how it sets a very like. I think part of what really appealed to me about this game is that in a time when so many RPGs are like, you're the teen hero. There's some evil emperor who wants to take over the world. Ooh, now we're talking. You're going this to is my speed. No, yeah. And like, <laughs> I love that kind of stuff too, but this is so different because, like, I mean, like, you control a like a Norse, uh, like mythological figure. You are a Valkyrie who's harvesting the souls of the recently deceased to like send Gross. them up to this war. So there's just this sort of like sadness infused in all of the characters and a lot of the events and stuff like that that just gives it a level like. I do like the gives the Norse, storytelling a different level. I do like the Norse sort of edge to it. I feel like we don't see that yeah. enough in games uh, in a, for some weird reason. Yeah. Andy McNamara, he also reviewed the game for us. He said, Valkyrie Profile is an interesting treat. It lays the story on thick as you watch many tale of human tragedy while you fulfill your role as a servant to Odin. At times, these stories seem a little long, but yeah. they are actually well thought out and sometimes evilly twisted. A plus in my book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds like see, Andy knows what's up. What score did he give it? Uh, 
<laughs> that's two eights and a seven what, five. What would you guys score it? Boy, that's actually a good question because I did score it at one point and don't remember what I gave it because it was um, there's a remake of it or a re-release that came out on PSP. That was in two thousand six, around that time. It was bad. Yeah, it was Valkyrie Profile Lenith. Yeah, which is basically this version with some like but additional cutscenes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's. Um, yeah, I. But the game plays this. It is. It is a remake. It's basically the same game. I don't remember what all of the addition. I mean, okay. that was like I played a long that one ago. like for like an hour or something. Yeah, I mean, this does suffer from a common JRPG problem of like you need to really sink a good like yep. probably six to ten hours into it before yeah. before it's sort of like open to you in the way that you like know what it what it provides. Mm. Uh, what year did you say this was? Please? This game was ninety nine in mm, okay. uh, Japan, but two thousand in the U.S. I think that was August okay. two thousand in the U.S. I always I always try to like for these RPGs like kind of place them around Final Fantasy seven and okay. like see like how yeah. far they were from it or before it or behind it. You know, mm -hmm. Jill's rocking out to this <laughs> cathedral music. Yes, just his, banging his head. I, I his agreeable nodding. Yes, that is rocking I'm out. I'm rocking out. Oh, yes, <laughs> cathedral music in an RPG. Okay, why is she floating? What's I, going on here? Uh, They're gods. Oh, okay. So at my desk right now, I have little uh, little figures of both Freya and uh, Lenith in Valkyrie form. Those I could pick those up in a on a trip to Japan. I think it was my first trip for like Tokyo Game Show. And I spent way more than I was comfortable with at the time <laughs> on on those two, but I, I'm glad I did it in retrospect. Uh, Kyle, what do you think of this? Uh, it's it's moving slow <laughs> out of the gate. Uh, that I'm I'm a little confused why that woman just didn't like float down the stairs or walk down the stairs. She evaporated and then reappeared. Seven feet away from her original spot. An animation strange. budget. Okay, <laughs> Kyle, if you could effortlessly, effortlessly teleport, are you telling me that you would oh, walk ever again? No. I, you know, remember that movie Jumper? No. There was a movie Jumper, no, yeah, and it was about a guy who could jump around, and people made fun it of it. It was about Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, they were like, oh, that's so stupid. He's like jumping around his living room. Well, that's so dumb. No, that would never happen. I'm always like, I would absolutely 100% do that. I would if, zip to the fridge and grab a Coke and zip back to the couch. Yeah, constantly. if it was as effortless as walking. Oh, oh yeah, I guess that's true. If it, like, if it was like the effort of a push-up, I think a lot of people would probably refuse to do it. Yeah, or if you had to concentrate so hard you gave yourself a nosebleed or something. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Yeah, muscle Mr. over Mr. here. Muscle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on, let's just go into that. One thing that's interesting about you is you run marathons, but you don't run like just like, the twenty-some miles. I run what is known as uh, uh, ultra marathons. So <laughs> like those. Uh, Just give a mileage on it. Fifty miles is the average. It is my honor. I've done one hundreds and uh, two hundreds oh and my gosh. a a uh, canful of uh, twenty-four hour races. So you huh. don't stop running for 24 hours. I stop to use the bathroom and like to... But at the same time, you're just jogging in place, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop. If you stop, your muscles are just going to... Your body's just going to be like, I'm done. I ran that, for 15 hours. You don't that wanna... is somewhat true, though. So, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to stop. You, you don't want to go in those porta potties because they're just a mess. <laughs> Every, just... Everyone's just shimmying around as they're trying to do their business. I will join you on your yeah, but I do those. It's... Running is my core, uh, stress relief. Sure. And I've recently started to run on a treadmill with a fight stick. Oh. <laughs> so I've been playing uh, Street Fighter all five on a treadmill. That is crazy to me. Like I, I, I get have to change it up a bit. I <laughs> get I get running and playing a game if you're playing a game where you're also running because yeah. then you can kind of just like lean on the stick and like make it to your destination. But a fighting game, like you're you're in. Yeah. Like yeah. you have to be fully concentrating. Yeah. That's like was that chess boxing? That feels like that's like the same thing to me. It seems really dangerous, Zach. Like, I... You got to concentrate on what your feet are doing because I don't see I... you just trotting. I see you like. That thing is cooking. You're, yeah, you're like sprinting and playing fighting games. <laughs> it's uh, years of running. It's c habitual at this point, so I don't yeah. really have to focus on my feet. I just have to focus on trying not to lose. Okay, so how often in ultra marathons do people like barf 
and just keep <laughs> running, or B, just collapse and can't keep running? Uh, collapsing, not as much as you really think, since it's a more relaxed environment. Uh, barfing happens <laughs> quite often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, I, yeah. Now, is it like a polite pull over to the grass, <laughs> let it trail as you're running, <laughs> or do you stop, stop. and just like. Hunch over and just let it go. Most people stop. Okay, good. Uh, Since okay. that's the right way to do it, I think. The difference between an ultra marathon and a marathon, the atmosphere is much more family-like. So uh, it's not so competitive. I wanna, oh, I'm, uh, I wanna, yeah, and I mean, I need to interrupt for a yeah, second sir. here. Well, oh, we yeah, do. Something. This is some. This is one of the cool things about this game, and I know it's going to look super underwhelming. Yeah, now. I like that start button, but. <laughs> This music Stop is cool. Stop dancing to the music. It's not that great. <laughs> <laughs> you can like this game and not have a complete oh. appreciation of the music. <laughs> Joe's getting into it now. Oh, he loves the screaming. Oh, man, the screams of death really <laughs> get me going. Oh, what happened to the horse? <laughs> See? It's good. So what, you were listening <laughs> to the people dying? Yeah, so how, the idea yeah. is you're tapping into some sort of, like, spiritual uh, flow to find out, like, where where these, like, souls that you can recruit are going to be. Uh, this is the way to find uh, the dungeons uh, 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 are your uh, 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 party members, um, the towns. Gotcha. It's, yeah. So that's like your way of like sort of searching, yes. like yeah. scanning, yeah. kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But and again, I recognize that maybe I don't know. I really like the music, but it's also like super nostalgic for me too. No, I like the music too. So. I think Ryan just give me a hard okay. time. Okay. I, I, I just give you a hard time. Hey, you can appreciate it, but when you're banging your head to cathedral <laughs> music, I have a problem well, with okay, that. Okay, I'm just I'm that's overselling. <laughs> banging my head as in. Mm, I think I was just <laughs> nodding at the moment actually. <laughs> I love agreeable nodding when I go to rock <laughs> concerts. <laughs> yes, this is very good. Uh, yes, I like this song. Um, All right. Uh, so it? anyway, we were, we were talking about marathon um, puking and, and, <laughs> and really interesting topics. Y y even the competitive. <laughs> there we go. Why did uh, that gorilla? What did he do? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Here's the way. Anyway, go. Like, I, I would just say, even the competitive athletes in ultra marathons are extremely f f friendly. Okay. And so, like, w when you're in a marathon, it's the the elite runners are extremely uh, uh, tense. Well, okay. Let me put you in a scenario. Yeah. You're in an ultra marathon. Mm -hmm. It's neck and neck. You see the finish line. <laughs> you're like, I don't know, 30 seconds out, and you go, oh, I'm going to barf. Mm-hmm. But there's a guy right next to you running with you. You want to win the marathon. What do you do? I would try to hold it in. But if you can't, do you just mid stride spray? Yes, yes, I would. Just to win. That would be an maybe, awesome maybe snapshot. Aim for yeah. their feet. So oh yeah, so uh, <laughs> you'd be disqualified for that, right? If you purposely barf, barf on in him, front, yes. well, in front of them to make <laughs> yes. them slip. Yes. Um, <laughs> So the combat of this game is pretty interesting. It's your your a uh, typical uh, turn base, but each of uh, 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 party members is it, 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 it is assigned to uh, uh, um to uh, uh, one of the four uh, uh, buttons on the controller. Hmm. So you basically like what I was doing there is just. You know, attacking with Lawfer with Square and Arngrim with Axe, and they each just sort of had one swing, so you tap it once. Oh, okay. But later in the game, when you get like you get four party members, and each one gets sort of like different charges, so it's this cool this cool sort of interplay of like trying to time their attacks to sort of like play off of each other in good ways and like do as much damage as you can. There's a combo system that if you all complete it right, there's a special attack. Uh, I forget the name of it. it, it uh, everyone kind of has their own special attack. So, yeah. like, Val or, uh, Lenith's is Nibelung Velesti. And that's when it's... So, basically, if you, like, fill up this meter and you, like, hit a combo high enough, you can activate just these 
again, they're not like summons in Final Fantasy, but they are sort of more elaborately animated yeah. special attacks. But, really so you're cool. not really digging through menus necessarily. No, there are no. no it's not oh, turn-based cool. in like use items or whatever. It's, yeah. it's a lot more just like, I mean, I guess there is a way, I think there is a way to stop and do that, but... Well, uh, I like that. Like that's interesting to me that you don't really have to take through menus too much. Yeah, and also, I mean, we're not there yet, but you'll also see another like cool departure for it is that like the dungeons are all two D side scrolling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this is from my review. Enix created a decent game that offers plenty of geek worthy RPG material, and I love how much you can customize the characters. Mm-hmm. But Odin would roll over in his grave if he saw how poorly this game was sewn wow. together. Jumps from scene to scene, never really finding a comfortable groove. That's kind of my takeaway. Is like I think that the PSP one, I did play that. I think that did a better job of kind of putting pieces together. Yeah, right? they do have some cutscenes and stuff in there. Okay, so yeah, you can understand that. I love this. So you guys stuff. are agreeing? I'm 100 percent right. Mm, yeah, based <laughs> I would on critique. Based on my personal experience in with the game, your critique, yes. yes. Since you're capping between the stories of all the party members, it sort of... It can be a bit abrupt. Yeah. yeah. It looks like but. you're really holding back something you want to say to me, Joe. You you don't agree <laughs> with me, do you? <laughs> I just, I feel you're like, like it... like that woman on screen. I feel like it goes for I, a for a maybe more ambiguous approach to storytelling, which isn't all... I mean, like, and I recognize I have criticized games for this, too. I think that there's a fine line between, like, leaving something ambiguous and leaving something inadequately explained. You know, and for me, this walks that line well of like letting you fill in the stuff that, you know, you need to while giving you the sort of important bits you need to construct the story. And I'll admit, young Reiner but. wouldn't get that. <laughs> young young Reiner was a bit of a dipshit. Uh, and uh, so we, we recorded that. We have that. Oh, on yeah, yeah. No, that's out there. All right. Like, we need to turn that into a sound button we can play during well, the Super Reiner. I mean, young Reiner. You know, what I'm seeing right now is oh, no, no, 10 out of 10. Young. Oh, just cut off young. Yeah, and oh. Reiner was oh, a bit yeah. of a dip. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait on that, yeah. I mean, this looks like 10 out of 10. <laughs> Freaking amazing. <laughs> oh, free oh, profile. Miss Dresher, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> just choking on another egg. <laughs> um, oh, actually, so like if I had to pick of all of the series out there that like, I wish would get another entry, like another sequel, I think Valkyrie Profile is probably at the top of that list. I Absolutely. Want, I want Valkyrie Profile 3 real did, bad. So it did get a 2, though, right? It got a 2 on PS2 that was very... More um, of a prequel, I thought, right? Yeah, it was cool. Uh, it came out around the same time as the PSP remake? Weren't they trying yeah. to kind of like, hey, let's bring this yeah. back? And, yeah, they yeah. were sort of around... And it stars... Well, without getting too deep into the story stuff, yeah. they're basically like... There's one Valkyrie at any one time, but sort of three different entities who can be the Valkyrie. It's Leneth, okay. Leneth, Silmeria, and Hrist. And uh, bless you. <laughs> so this game is about Leneth. Valkyrie Profile Two is about sort of, is about Silmeria as the Valkyrie. Okay. I want that third one where we get Hrist. Hrist is sort of a little more uh, ruthless and yeah. badass. They'd have to just call it Valkyrie Profile Three. No, could, it couldn't be Valkyrie Profile Colon. Christ. Yeah, H R I S T. I don't think. Yeah, I I, I get it. Now this series but. was popularish, right? Like I think it had a nice little following. Yeah, uh, yeah. it was all considered a uh, success. So I think it's it's weird that yeah. we don't have it, right? Like yeah. it, it seems like why not dip your toes back in yeah. this pool, Square Enix, right? Like yeah, yeah, because why this not? is the same developers as uh, uh, Star Ocean, uh, mm. Final Fantasy 13 2, and the third entry. Well, they shouldn't have done 13 2. Well, they should have done this. I, don't, I mean, it's weird because they sort of contribute. I, yeah. I'm, Tri-Ace, after, especially after the PS2 era, really sort of, I feel like, lost the thread in terms of how to make... Th yeah. their, their expertise was really in the sort of PS1, PS2 yeah. era. I take everything back. I hate this character design, that lady on the right there. What <laughs> so, is she doing in this universe? The pixel art The pixel art I like, but I especially like the art style of all the portraits. Uh, Except her. Yeah, well, that's, She does not look like she's in the same game. This is total <laughs> Sonic 06 crap going well, on here. Uh, uh, okay, right, that's come actually... On, come on, that's Don't. A, it's a character in disguise. Yeah, and also don't compare it to Sonic 06. Yeah, that's don't not be fair. Mean. Oh, look at her. Oh, 
Uh, it's being downright offensive at that point. <laughs> another thing I've cited, I, I've cited this about Valkyrie Profile before and also about um, the first Xenosaga game in particular. And that's like, this is not an RPG for people who are like, I think I might want to try out a, a JRPG. Yeah. I, want, I wonder what those Japanese role-playing games are all about. This yeah. is like dense with like, multiple kinds of points that you need to distribute and various systems to yeah. juggle and yeah. stuff like that. I think I developed more of a taste for this type of game well after playing this game, right? Yeah. I, I know yeah. that's weird to say, but that my interest kind of started to sway in that direction. Then, fine, yeah, I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> right? You guys don't have to judge me so intently. Like, I get it. It's cool. But, yeah, this is... I, I, I definitely appreciate it just for how complex it is yeah. also yeah because the systems um, in this you have all uh, the party members uh, uh, and also with all uh, uh, the dungeons um you get the typical uh, uh, battle xp but then for uh, the puzzle solving and stuff in the dungeons it goes into this uh, 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 i'd say a a a, a, a pool of experience that then you have to uh, uh, distribute to the party members you want to have that experience. Okay. Yeah, and like each character you get has different weird traits that you can level yeah. up that are specific to them that you sort of advance like skill points to make them sort of like to basically offset their flaws and make them better warriors in the war, in the like heavenly war that's going on. Yeah, because of that, um, since you have to send party members to Odin, um, they have to be uh, 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 strong enough f for them hmm. uh, 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 for you to get your, what is it? E hey! Evaluation points? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then same thing with at the end of the dungeons, you get um, the artifacts. You could choose uh, uh, Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 She's dead. You could choose. She's not dead. Oh, uh, to keep the artifacts or to send them uh, for oh, um, uh, uh, for uh, later on um, where you get uh, 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 materialize uh, uh, points for uh, 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 better artifacts in the end game. Yeah. So basically, there's a there's a way to juggle. Yeah. Like, do you want to use this valuable thing yourself, or do yeah. you want to get sort of points for it mm. but anyway and that's the depth that's yeah. really special about this yeah. game that stuff is cool yeah. it also has a totally bullshit true ending i agree yeah this game is probably top of the list of i would agree of games with like bullshit of like that got that true ending trend going that, that's just like virtually impossible to get unless you have a guide it took three is it worth it, it? It's uh, at the time yeah. I thought it so was. You, by by yeah. true ending, you mean like there's multiple endings. There's an A ending, there's a B ending, which is all, all the normal ending, and okay. there's a C ending where you have to have zero evaluation points. Uh, so you basically keep all the weapons and all your uh, all party members and stuff. Okay. It's kind of like a bad ending, a neutral ending, yeah. and then like. The good ending involves two characters, like so getting together. Right it's really difficult to achieve. That's so that you have to do okay. like very specific things at very specific yeah. times, and not do other things that you might be inclined to do. Yeah. Mm. So is this like a one million hour one RPG, or is this like I I I have about some I think I have about fifty hours for it in my head. Okay, that's about that. That's, that's about where it should be. It I took like. about three times, I think, for me and my dad to get the f like play through it. Yes. Three times. Uh, yeah. Kyle, I, this whole time you've had a look on your face, concerned. <laughs> you maybe some. Concerned. I was like, does he smell something? <laughs> Is there gas over there or no, what? Well, I, maybe a, a gas leak. Gas. Yeah, 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 sitting next to me, or a but, gas bag. Uh, that's my nickname. What's your take on this so far? Seriously, I, I wanted. Like usually you're pretty upbeat in these things, you're you're into it, but this here it seems like you're not really getting it. I my concern look is 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 a bit of concentration of trying to like understand exactly what this game is because it looks real like oh. the way you guys are talking about it, like we haven't even seen a dungeon yet. We've yeah. been playing for almost an hour. I think we've done like one fight, you know, and 
And I've played tons of those games that are like, look, it gets good after like six hours. We which can't is, be at an hour. We're like hey, what, wait, 20 minutes. Wait, wait, Jake, that's the control right. room. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, Reiner. Where are we at in time? <clears throat> oh, uh, 25 minutes. Okay, well, it feels like we've been playing for <laughs> Wow. Long, so. I mean, that is a hours. damning review. But, uh, I mean, I like the way it looks. I, I like the combat system, but it's just like it's really seems like it's throwing way too much lore at you up well, front Well, there's Solid here. Snake. Yeah, I really don't remember it being this long of a of a start. But I mean bad rash. I don't even want I don't even necessarily say think that's like a bad thing. It's just like man, there's just a lot. <laughs> what what is yeah. the We've all had these games where people recommend a game to you but you just cannot get into it because the beginning is just mm. such a drag. Uh, mm. One that really, like, I was like, I don't know if I can do this. I liked Persona 3, but Persona 4, that intro goes on for, like, I kid you not, like, 10 hours before it, it really, <laughs> before it finds its groove, right? Right. And that game's brilliant, but, like, that is, like, holy hell, there's a lot of exposition yeah, at the beginning of this. I, I think that's not inaccurate. I think 10 hours for, until it finds its groove yes. and about four hours before you are, like, actually playing. Doing stuff, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've been playing, I've been replaying Skyward Sword, which has a super slow yep, beginning. Yep. And like the other, on top, the layer on top of that is like Skyward S Sword starts out really slow, is you also have to take time to like appreciate the motion controls and get the hang of them. Yeah. So it's like you get tons of story, all right, and then it's like, and then you get handed a sword, and it's like, well, I don't even know if I like this, <laughs> you know? Like, I don't think I really appreciated that game till I was done with the first dungeon. Like that was my starting line for really starting to like Skyward Sword. Yeah. Yeah. I would say most recently when I went through uh for the three DS um was SMT four. Ah, yeah. So oh, yeah. like that first time it was it uh, it took me too long to get into, but once I did it, it it was a hell of a game. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, a lot of JRPGs are really slow. And I think that's to the detriment of these these, these series that are out there. It's just people don't have a lot of time. They don't give games a lot of chance. A lot of games, I, there was a number. I talked to Naughty Dog. Like, 11% of people finish, like, a Jack and Daxter game. Oh. Like, that's <laughs> just got to be so demoralizing yeah. for them. Yeah. If you don't kind of come out of the game, gate screaming or really kind of showing what your game's about... You're gonna yeah. lose a lot of people right there, um, and but these games are brilliant. You know what I mean. A lot of these JRPG series are great. Uh, later in in like on 360, you saw like Sakaguchi with like Lost Odyssey having like a roaring beginning. Yeah. Uh, but then I think then once you have that and then it slows down, you also kind of lose something. You know what I mean? Like it's like wait, what was this about? And now it's kind of back to square one. Uh, they got to be careful with that kind of stuff, and it, it's a tough thing for RPGs where exploration and just gaining stuff isn't a part of their formula, where it is more narrative-driven, party-driven. Yeah. Where's that balance? That's a tough thing. Yeah. You know I think kind of did it right a little bit is Final Fantasy XV. Like, they kind of put you in the open world pretty early, and that's where, like, the most of the action is kind of offloaded. Like, the really lore-heavy story stuff doesn't come till like, the second half of the game. Yeah. I, I think that's true. I think that's smart. They, but they also like layer their systems on maybe a little slowly too. Yeah, that's true. Um, but at least you're playing, you know. Yeah, that that is true. At the same time, though, there is something like for a game like this, for a game like Persona Four, there's something that I really like. If it's a story I'm into about that sense that you are settling in yep. for for something long. And, mm -hmm. and I, well, I also think it by the end of the game, you reflect on that, and that's a positive, but at the time, it really wasn't. You were kind of wondering if you were wasting your time yeah. to a degree, right? Because yeah, you're yeah. like, where is this going? When do I do stuff? Yeah. Uh, when does it really kind of find uh, its gameplay kind of rooting in yeah. in everything that it's doing? And yeah, yeah, yeah it's, yeah. it's a thing. And that's one thing I'll say to you p viewers out there, like give these games a chance, and it is a commitment. If you go into one, you really do got to say, I'm not just going to play three hours. This has to be like a 10 to 15 hour thing mm -hmm. to just even see if this is going to be something I'm really going to get into. Yeah. And I know, I mean, and I know Reiner, that's why one of the reasons you decided to start doing more of these even on replay, because we used to kind of avoid them because of things like this, because you yep. play for a half an hour and nothing would really happen, except like these games have some of the best stories, some of the best mechanics. I mean, like it's probably my favorite genre out there. So it's nice to be able to give them a little bit of attention, I think. 
Yeah, and, and obviously this is not the best thing. You're not saying typical replay craziness of us doing stuff, but I do think we have to celebrate these games of yesteryear somehow uh, on our show because they are such a big part of a lot of the staffs. Uh, interest and in, in their yeah. their top games are a lot of them are JRPGs. So Absolutely. for us to just avoid them because the intros are yeah. slow, uh, I think is a bad thing. Or even just trying to throw you in the middle of these, I think that's the wrong thing too. I think you do just need to show how they start and, and yeah. go from there. So we've got an interesting thing coming up here. It's actually better in the PSP version, but we did a list a little while ago of like top ten monstrous transformations. Right? I think that was in the magazine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was like um, two issues ago or something? It was recent. Yeah. yeah. So where it was like like oh, people who turn from people to Gosh. horrible monsters, mm -hmm. right? It this is one of the things that made the list. Uh, a scene that's coming up. She's the worst. <laughs> really? <laughs> they call like her, her Tomboy Princess? Yeah, Jolanda. You'll see her... I mean, okay, so You're teasing something. She's right the one who gets who like has the monstrous trans transformation. Well, she needs it. Oh, what? what, what? Um, she needs it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah. Just, you just you you just <laughs> preached about patience and giving people hey, a chance. Hey, and you're hey, like, no, oh, when I that see woman doesn't I... have a nose or a mouth. Get her out of here. <laughs> when I see something I don't like, I just hone in on it and call it like it air is. strike it to death. <laughs> uh, I didn't think what were you saying, Joe? Well, I was just thinking. So Kyle was talking about the Zelda games as having these like long buildups. Yeah. And to me, that strikes me as so strange because like for for a long time I didn't play. 3D Zeldas. So it's like, uh, <laughs> I played the original Zelda, Link to the Past, both of which, like, in the first, well, the original Zelda is like instantaneously you're controlling it. Yeah. You know? I think it's funny how that series in particular has now developed a reputation for these long yeah. intros where well, it came out, where it started as one of the best in terms of just like getting you right into the action. Because I tried playing Skyward Sword. And just had to stop. It was uh, just yeah. that that intro was too much for but me. But it is a different kind of long. It's a long in that you are actively doing stuff, but you aren't doing the meat of what Zelda is. You're not going yeah. to dungeons. You're not interacting yeah, with exactly. enemies in a, in a meaningful way. You're finding cats and kids in the village and getting to know the society more than just play the game. Right? I think yeah. We'll see if it changes by the time it comes out, but. You know, they've shown the first 20 minutes of Breath of the Wild at E3, and I played it at, like, the Switch event. And that is getting back to what you probably appreciate about the old school Zelda, where it's just like, you wake up. hey, wake up. Here's a shirt. Go. Yeah. You know, and yeah. Like, it's, okay. you really are instantly in that world. Like, Can that shirt be optional? You, actually, yeah. It totally oh, gets, you right. can You can just leave in your underwear That's and me. go start fighting in Breath of the Wild. All right. I'm going to live stream <laughs> a complete playthrough of Breath of the Wild in my underwear. <laughs> Lincoln is wait, underwear. Wait, wait. Oh, Lincoln is underwear? And me in my underwear. Cool. All right. And what's your Twitch so that we can avoid it's that? It's Andrew Reiner, but we should probably workshop a new one. <laughs> underwear Reiner? <laughs> nude stream. <laughs> nude stream. <laughs> yeah, they'll get the hits. Never nude stream. Well, that's... Oh, well, jean, that's jean a, shorts, yeah. Our current streams are never nude streams. Yes. So. Uh, so are we seeing the transformation? Was that her? Well, okay, so in this version, they don't have the elaborate transformation. Oh, really? Well, so oh, it's missing. just the PSP one. It's like but, something's missing from this. But that is her? Yeah, that is her. Ooh. What do you think? Better improvement, Reiner? I do. I, I approve. <laughs> she, I'm into that. She has a clearer face. She, has she a just mouth. looks She looks like she belongs. Maybe he made the right choice. All right. I really did not remember the intro going out. Like, I thought that we'd get to that first dungeon at least a little bit quicker, even if no. it was slow. But now we just crushed your dream. But this does illustrate for if you are willing to invest the time in this, like Arn Grimm and Jolanda are two of the characters that um, that you use in the game as as the Valkyrie. And like you get this like elaborate backstory with them. So, you know, like. A lot of games throw someone in your party and, you, and you're just supposed to assume, like, okay, I guess this person fights with me now. I like the way that this sort of builds up these characters. Uh, and Zach, I'll let you, since this is your pick, send us off. Tell, us, tell our viewers just a re little recap what this game is, why you think they should play it. It is probably one of my favorite and, if not, one of the best uh, JRPGs next to the final... Uh, fantasy games on all uh, the PS1. So I praise. This is something that if you're 
into the genre and then you missed out on it, you should really head back and try it out. Uh, one thing I'll say, where can people get this now? Like, is the better option getting the, the Lenneth one or... Uh, well, should they try to track down? This is going to be an expensive game to get. It's on a PSP one, right? one. So if you have a PSP, then nobody has a PSP. <laughs> yeah, I just still have a PSP. But yeah, I'm, it, it, if you have a PSP, then that's the version you should get. I mean, if not, I have no clue how expensive. Yeah, they're going to be. This is out there. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I think these these are collectors' items. Maybe it's on. PlayStation Network? It's like, not. It's not. No. Okay. You can, like that is one of the ridiculous yeah. frustrations about this game right now is that like it's hard to find. You need, yeah. well, it was super. It was super hard to find when it was just on PS One. Mm -hmm. Then it came out on PSP, so like a, a, more people got into it. But like, yeah, I, this needs to be digitally accessible, and no. it's and it's not. It's not. I like the way this combat looks. Now that well, we're that's too bad. Um, uh, but you guys, uh, I think you did a good job. Of showing what the game is and selling it uh, in terms of what you liked about it. Uh, Kyle and I, we're in a different camp, but uh, <laughs> that's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions. Zach, great pick. I'm Thank glad we finally got this on the show. Let's move on to something more my speed. Yes. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> this is more your speed. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, this is a Reiner game. <laughs> Definitely a Reiner. It's one of them Reiner joints. This can't be the only jambalaya being served, Lumpy. I want to zap new bugs, swim <laughs> new streams, be frog loose and froggy free. Yeah. And quit getting needle frog that mosquito loose. gang. Look at his shirt. See, I understand this story. There's no ambiguity here. I'm already like, I understand everyone's motivations. <laughs> exactly. This is how you make a video game. <laughs> Man. This is Frogger the Great Escape or the Great Quest on uh, PS2 from Konami. By the way, Reiner picked this out for us to play, and we puzzled over what was on his shirt <laughs> for a while before we figured it out. It is a no sign, like the Ghostbusters no, with a truck. No trucks. So you know how he crosses the street, he always gets hit by trucks. Yeah, so is he okay with cars? We can only assume no. that he is. He, he probably doesn't like logs like or lily pads. Yeah. Right I still yeah. look at the copy of this sitting on my shelf. You have what? You have this? Yes, I have a copy sitting what? on my shelf. <laughs> Why? Have you played this? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Not for many, many years, but yes, I have. So how many times did you have to play through this one to get the ultimate ending? I don't even think I finished. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think the true. The right if we're talking about true endings, I think the true ending. <laughs> what are those? Is the frog wow. dying? <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> Wait, are those supposed to be mosquitoes? Uh huh. Well, clearly. I don't know why there's any confusion here. Yeah. Okay. And he's a police officer, I think. Is, or, or some a, sort of military guy, maybe. Or a boat captain. Or, I mean, <laughs> once again, listen to it. It's like Fran Drescher again. Get it. <laughs> Do you know what a Fran Drescher is? <laughs> oh <my laughs> so the, the sound of their wings. Is yeah, it's, a, it's a big wooden box that That's you keep all your friends <laughs> in, right? Your Fran Drescher? <laughs> uh, like, 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 repeated any, Fran Drescher jokes on replay. Any, any mildly high-pitched thing <laughs> is a Fran Drescher-related point. Oh, hell, what are we doing? Hey, you picked this. Whoa, man. look at those hands. They're amazing. What are frog hands called? Before? Oh, wow. What? Okay. Yeah. See, this is a Valkyrie. It's kind of thematic, man, right? I would, I would much rather watch the Valkyrie profile story scenes than these story scenes. Uh, by the way, I looked up the score on Valkyrie profile Lenneth. Uh, I only gave it an eight, <laughs> which, in my head, that game is higher. But no, it was but it was ago. you that you reviewed that one? Yeah, I reviewed yeah. the PSP one. Or maybe it was me. No, that was me for sure. Yeah, it might have been me. <laughs> well, we'll never know. <laughs> maybe I was a second opinion. Uh, no, I, if I remember correctly, it was I think it was Lisa and I that were on that. Could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's not budging on this one, Joe. For some reason, I don't know. Why. I don't. I don't know. What's <laughs> He's determined to have co-author credit on everything any <laughs> former has ever done. It's all me. <laughs> <laughs> My alt, Joe Juba. Yeah, yeah. 
Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna start this because can we skip? Yeah, okay. This is some hot trash that I really like. Okay, so if you Ooh. had to have an action figure of any of those characters on that opening scene, what would you have? The guy with the vest and no shirt. <laughs> okay, I'd probably do the boat captain mosquito, Both, just because he's mysterious. Yeah, you know? yeah. What's his occupation? You know. <laughs> oh, I liked Butger as a name. <laughs> it was Butker. Yeah, because but, Frogger. Yeah. Oh man, I blew it. There's a cool, like, king troll in this game. I oh, here's a, get rid of these letters. I'm reading the booklet. Here's a good game tip, Reiner. Uh, search everywhere. There are lots of hidden goodies throughout the entire game. So make sure you do that. Okay. I can't wait to see what this is. No, we already saw that. Oh, thank God we can skip that. Okay. Oh, man. This game. Oh, oh man. there's a character called Dusty the Bone Dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, do you guys want to know the name of that, that group of mosquitoes? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Any guesses? Well, let's see. I bet they have like. What are we looking at? Is it oh. s like Suck Squad? <laughs> or <laughs> oh, the Soul Suck Squad. Or like, you know, the Blood Poker. You're being far too clever. It's the Rough Bunch. <laughs> oh, man, that is terrible. Did, did Jordy die? Well, it's a frog. Oh. I don't think well, he's a water. solid point. Hey, if he <laughs> fell in the water in Frogger, the original Frogger, he's a goner. Oh, yeah, that's right. That didn't mm -hmm. make sense. The game's overrated. Hello, All right. I like Fairy Frog <laughs> What's Mother. Ah, oh, Fairy Frog okay. Mother, yeah. You just gave me a tutorial for what I just did to you. She looks more like an alligator than a frog. Really? Look yeah. at that. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. A, what, that's a nose. How many frogs with, like, snouts do you know? Can Frogger Six. climb this wall? Oh, yeah. I mean, I suppose the snout the snout family of Every. frogs. <laughs> What's the <this> sound? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, gosh. There's the eels from Little Mermaid. Oh, no. I go up the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Let's do it. So how's it feel? Sound, sound how's effects? it play? Oh, I like Not that. good, guys. I like Whoa. that friend Drescher whistle going in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're getting into, like, air horn situation. I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, you're fine. Oh. Uh-huh. That's really doing Slab it. it. <laughs> Slab it. <laughs> You've almost clipped through okay, it. I imagine. I assume here? that's how you solve the puzzle. Oh, whoa. Oh, good. He spits. Reiner, <laughs> Reiner, do something cool real quick. Whoa. There what? you go. He's what? Something, do something cool. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. He broke the box. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Fran Drescher, welcome to the show. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, what did you... You spit the at the boxes? No. I, I, they just turned into different boxes for some reason. Can you talk to her? Can you spit, I on, spit her? on her? Good. Okay. You <laughs> okay. I mean, maybe she explained what we were supposed to do and we just weren't paying attention. Spit a goober? Wow. Duh. All right, so you got that, Reiner? L1. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> okay, Reiner, if you had to choose between listening to this music or Valkyrie profile music all day on a loop, which one do you choose? Mm, that, there's the right answer. Uh, hold on. I, I'm just getting a taste of this here. Oh, yeah, the spitting really goes with the music there, too. <laughs> uh, cathedral music is pretty powerful, so yeah. I'll, I'll give you that. All right. Talk to her, you bastard. This Hashtag Joe was door. right. This is a closed door. Thank you. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? In oh. case somehow you made it through several years of life without figuring out what doors are. You will need a All right, find the key. Or I don't know, maybe spit at it. That seems to well, work. Well, where am I going to find a damn key? Oh, maybe the floating one directly behind you. Mm. I don't know. I mean, let's not jump to conclusions Zach, did you here. buy this? That, that, Probably. We, we, <laughs> wait, so you spent actual money on this. All right. Oh, do I get to talk to her again? <laughs> we got a story coming up here. My dad and I, well, he's the one she say? who introduced me to video games <laughs> when I was like 18 months. So right. it, it was a thing for us. Uh, we went to flea markets and we would... Uh, 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 <laughs> I'll purchase probably th oh no the Ooh. cheapest worst games we could find okay okay which is the reason I have already beat uh, uh, both the overblood games Martian Gothic gotcha because of him so yes I think we spent two bucks on this game okay, okay. well as long as it wasn't 
Like, mm, you know, you weren't saving up your allowance <laughs> week to week for it. Yeah. Sitting outside the GameStop on release yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I love Frogger. I'm so glad okay, they're rebooting it. There. Where does the line start for the midnight release of Frogger? <laughs> What do you store. think the people on the dev team? At what, at what point is it like, guys, we completely Wait, missed the mark? Did you say plural people? <laughs> <laughs> the guy or girl? girl yeah, this is Jonathan person Blow's first on game. The dev team. This is. <laughs> this goes by his pen name. Actually, I do. I am kind of digging the digging the. God, it, it really the the. Uh, okay, it is not as intuitive as you'd think. Like <laughs> I'm hitting jump well in advance of him actually doing it. There's those damn fish there down go. there. What is Frogger doing these days? Like, what is that franchise? Like, there's been some reboots. Like mobile recently. games. What was that one that was really popular? That was basically Frogger on iPhone. Oh, uh, what was that called? Uh, uh, Crossy Roads. Crossy, yeah. Crossy yeah. Roads. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to turn the camera. Well, there. Oh, nice. Oh, I need to go camera okay, basic, around. Yeah. Basic camera control. Nice work, Frogger. Pretty sweet. I do like how his uh, throat turns into a little balloon. Yeah. That's cute. You know, I think it's called a dewlap on lizards. I don't know what it is on a frogs. Doolap? It's like they're if they're happy, they, they come out or something. I don't know. Oh, jeez. This is intense. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, he, boy. You can go. climb that. There that, we go. Those vines, for sure. Success. I don't know. Oh, Kyle, you've played this before. Uh, I've played a video game before. <laughs> oh. So that's just my, like Uncharted. Secret. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much. Like was that a goodie? No, that was one of those hidden goodies. Good job. You really took Which, what I said to heart earlier. You have missed most of them in <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, Sonic 06. You've missed all those. Oh, I thought you were saying here. Like you, well, had, you had memory of this game. But no. yeah, Sonic 06 is a, a special you guys story are in our lives. That... Cracking me up with that game. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching. Uh, we're not trying to be funny. <laughs> we're just trying to get through We're trying it. to we're survive. Just, yeah, we're just coping. I mean, <laughs> we play that and then we go home and hug our kids like you wouldn't believe. Joe and hugs his dog. Yeah. Oh. I actually recently... Get off the damn vine, Frogger! <laughs> beat that game. Frogger! Sonic, Sonic 06? 06? Yeah, last year. Last year? Oh, so before we started yes. doing our super replay. Yes. Why'd you do that? I'm known to go back to horrible games to remind myself that there's no. a lot more... <laughs> no! Oh, no! ...wonderful <laughs> things out there. <'cause laughs> okay. What? That's a, I like that methodology. That's like, good. Like, once a month... I still beat Superman 64. He can loot <laughs> Once in the water. Okay. <laughs> it, it, You're just a masochist at this you point. Do, you do oh, aware oh. that you are aware that like ultra marathons don't make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that you have a finite amount of time on Earth and you're spending it playing Superman. This 64. actually uh, started as a joke when I was in high school. Please take me take me away. <laughs> but then <laughs> I just continue to play that game <laughs> once a month. It takes me. Two to three hours to beat that game now. Are you, so you must be like a pro. Like you must be good at that game at this point. I could speed run it, but I'm still not that level. I think the fastest run is just under two hours. My best oh, is okay. Two ten. Okay. So you're almost there though. It's a no. It's a horrible, horrible game. Yet I, I can't stop. <laughs> I just, I just giving up now. Can't stop playing that game. I am. Done playing this game. That took off I, like no sort of I know. I was trying to get them to die, and, and it they, was like. They just lost interest, basically. <laughs> it's like some killer fish you are. Oh, this is atrocious. What? What was uh, that? Uh, uh, who, I guess Fro Frogger's a magician now. Oh. Well, one good thing came from this. We know what our next super replay is. Stay away. Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> the Great Quest. Wow. What a train wreck of a video game. I don't know what they were thinking with this. This is completely the wrong way to go. Uh, Valkyrie Profile, on the other hand, you guys still think it's a 10 out of 10, but actually an 8. Yeah, uh, that's still apparently. a good score. No, uh, but Zach, thank you again for being on the show. Yeah, anytime. Sorry you had to relive this moment in, in your life, but uh, thanks again for all the knowledge and support you've given us through the years for video games and Game Informer's Extra Life Charity, which uh, you are a big part of. Uh, if you're on GameInformer.com, you could find the link over there. Uh, I'm guessing, again, this year you'll be... Yep, I already have uh, created the team on the website, so if you want to start your fundraising early, just um, you need auto register once again, and you could search 
uh, for the Game Informer team. But it's all ready to go. This is, uh, what, our seventh year? Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're doing it. Yeah. Been making a lot of money for kids, uh, the kids' hospitals out there. Absolutely. And uh, thanks again, Zach. It's fantastic the amount Not of work you put into there. Uh, just don't play Superman anymore, man. Like, <laughs> no, nope. it's the last thing we'll once see. Once a month, once a month. It's, or at least start it, streaming it so you guys. Yeah, like we want to see it. That's what everyone. Uh, there's a few people who want me to do a super replay of it here, and I'm like, I don't think they want to see that. <laughs> I would watch that. I would watch you play that, Zach. That they not once play. a month. I, but no. I would watch it once. <laughs> I mean, for your health, I would recommend you not do it. But yeah, it'd be interesting <laughs> to see. <laughs> All right. You're thanks. Nice to do it. Thanks again, everyone, for the support and watching our silly little show. Uh, hopefully you learned something about two games that you maybe have never seen before. We'll see you again in seven days. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>